Hello world, my name's Simster, and welcome back to Digimon World 2. Like I said in a previous video or two, or whatever, probably my last li uh, live stream. I'm still kind of sick, so I apologize for any coughing or sneezing. Or at least at the time of this recording, I'm still sick, and it's still Monday, so yeah. Um, so where we left off was we cured whatever was going on with our Digimon and just making junk parts in our inventory. And... Oh yeah, we also got three new Megas, which I believe are still on our team. Yep, War Greymon, Machine Dramon, and Metal Garurumon. We're gonna train them only until they learn their Mega Form level, um, Mega Form attacks. Then we're gonna switch out for Raidramon, Metal Greymon, and Lilymon. And I guess for right now, we have to re-explore some old domains looking for Ben Oldman or any information on the Archive ship. So what we're going to do now is go to... We're going to go to BIOS Domain. I hate Web Domain! And I guess it's the same procedure as before. I'm going to keep going until I find something interesting. If I find nothing, I'll meet you guys in the boss room. Well, it looks like my Megas learned their... Mega level forms, or uh, mega level attacks. Why do I keep saying forms? I don't know. So I guess I could see what happens if I try to show them off. So basically, we have this, you know, if anyone's familiar with Digimon, you know what we have. Terra Force for War Greymon, Giga Cannon for Machine Dramon, and Metal Groomon's signature attack of Freeze Breath. Not Ice Wolf Claw, not Metal Wolf Claw, Freeze Breath. Because that makes sense. Let's see how they do. And as you may have saw, that's crazy damage against the rookie. It, their mega form attacks do take up a lot of MP. And Machine Dramon will just keep attacking until he's out of MP, so... It's kind of a catch-22. A stronger attack for way more MP usage. Eh, I'll take it. Okay, so I'm not sure if we ever fought Kakatorimon or Kiwimon in the wild before. We fought... I'm pretty sure we fought them both as bosses at one point or another, but... We've never actually seen them, like, roaming around. I'm probably not gonna fight them, but that's pretty cool. Ooh! And there's Kakatorimon and a Kakatorimon. I'm getting really bad deja vu here. Oh. Uh. Huh. How long has that been messed up? Uh. Uh. No, nothing to see there. Nothing. I, I didn't realize the screen was off centered for the entire recording. I'm not crying, you're crying. Oh, this looks like fun. We're finally at the boss floor, and we've got a lot to explore. Eh, yeah, that kind of rhymes. Oh, it's an itch chest. HP Driver 2! Nice! Okay, let's see. Uh, we'll use an, we'll use a couple of MP drivers. We kind of need it. There we go, that should do. Now, Driver 2, I think heals all Digimon for... 60? HP? Oh, 80, nice. I know it's not really a whole lot considering the HP levels our Digimon are at. That was a dead end. But it's fine. It's fine. We're all fine here. You know, I'm not finding a whole lot of Digimon. Maybe that's a good thing. I mean, that is definitely a good thing, but like... I don't know. I would expect a lot more resistance for the boss floor. Dead end. <laughs> Let's see how many dead ends we can run into before we fight the boss. So far, it's... Oh. Oh. Well, okay, then. <laughs> Alright. Finally at the boss room. Okay. Let's go ahead and take on the boss. <laughs> oh, looks like another Blood Knight. Hey, you! You're a tamer from the city, aren't you? Seriously, deja vu! We won't let you guard tamers, 
we won't let you guard tamers stand in the way of our plan. Down with the guard tamers! Don't think you'll ever leave here standing! Hail Crimson the Grey! <laughs> I will stop you, Blood Knights! Yeah, we will! Ah, oh, my nose! Alright, so he's got Clockmon, Tankmon, Dromojamon. Nothing we haven't fought before, but I'm pretty sure they're all machine type. Dromojamon, I'm not sure of. They're definitely all data. And I remember Clockmon having something that could potentially be very bad for us. So let's focus on him and take him out first. Let's see. Interrupt. That's what it was. Chrono Breaker. I think what that does is delays the Digimon's turn. Yeah. So if Metal Greymon was going to attack first, he's now going to attack very last. Like, after every other Digimon, even the ones on their side have gone. Damage, he's still alive though. If only Lilymon didn't miss that attack. But wow, is Metal Greymon taking a beating? Let's go ahead and change that. Let's see. It won't heal much, but it'll be better than what he's at now. And everyone just focus attacks on Clockmon because he's not going to go down easy. Darn you, you're interrupt! I mean, I'm glad he's not dealing much damage with his interrupt, but still. Come on, Metal Greymon, finish him. There we go. Now just two left. Attack missed, right. Okay, let's focus all of our attacks on Tankmon, take him down in one fell swoop. Nothing to get on our get in our way now. I cannot speak when I'm sick. Come on, Giga Blaster, do some damage. 34. Okay, Ragermon. Finish him. I like that blue thunder. And he's still alive! Ah, this is gonna be a pain. Wow. All three attacks on Tankman only did a third of his health. Okay, that's... that's crazy. We'll just... No, I gotta heal... I gotta heal Raidramon. Okay, apparently it's around this point in the game where things get a lot tougher. We attack Tankmon with all three ultimates, all attacks hitting at the same target. Only one third of Tankmon's HP is gone. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it means... We might have to do some training later on, but for now, we might be okay. We do have six Megas in reserve. So if the going gets tough, we'll send in an army. Okay. Now, I don't have a Digimon that can attack all at once. I don't think. 
Oh, I do have Meteor Wing. Yeah, it's gonna be a weaker attack. We'll do Meteor Wing, then focus Metal Grey Mon and Lily Mon on Dromojamon. Hopefully they can deal more damage to the Mole than we did to Tank Mon. Fifty, it's not bad. Meteor Wing, come on. Finish him off. That wasn't even close. And his attack missed. This is bad. <sighs> okay, good news is Lilymon's attack did pretty good damage on her own. So Dramochmon's gonna go down first. Let's see. Yeah, we'll have Metal Greymon and Rangermon attack Dramochmon, see if we can finish him off. Lilymon will definitely finish off Tankmon, no doubt about it. Okay, little doubt about it, but still. <laughs> keep your fingers crossed. If they keep doing 50 damage, we're good. Ugh, so many stay down. <clears throat> but they all got their attacks in. Tankmon is down. Nice. Okay. Final round. Everyone just go all out. Finish him off. This Blood Knight will not be shown any mercy. End. And there we go. We we beat that Blood Knight. And got no level up, but it's okay. Wonder if he had anything to do with the Archive ship. Yeah, somehow I beat him. No kidding, he was tough. What's that on the floor? Looks like the part I had I picked up earlier. Gyro radar? Not gonna lie, I'm actually not remembering what that is. Maybe it has something to do with the archive ship, or maybe it has something to do with the location of it. I don't know. So it seems our fearless leader doesn't know anything about the gyro part, or anything in general. So which means we have to take over the other two domains. But I'm gonna leave the episode here because. I shouldn't be recording when I'm sick. <coughs> I fully intended to um, take over all three of those domains and free them from the Blood Knight's control just to advance the story, but I don't really feel like that's going to happen, and I apologize for that. I'm sorry if the, if the videos this week come out a little crummier than usual. I promise it's simply because I'm sick. I'll find some way to make up for it either next week or in this current week or something. I really hope you guys understand, but with that, thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and we will see you in the next video. Bye world!